fans, Milk still here with you for another very quick Idle Heroes video. So today, well, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about Soul Stones. So obviously Soul Stones, they've been around for a week or two now. A week, I think. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of, <laughs> that's made a lot of people very poor very quickly because to get from Soul Stone 1 to Soul Stone 3, at a minimum, at a minimum, you need 125 million gold and you need 134,000 pink dust. And that, I'm sure, would have cleaned a lot of people up. But like I said in one of my earlier videos, what's going to... This isn't actually that expensive. This isn't what, at the end of the day, causes people to be poor. It's the re-rolls that kills people over time. Because there are now 24 possible variations of soul stones uh, at each level. Which is great for the game, because you're like, ooh, I can mix and match new things. The reality is, with 24 million... Sorry, 24 new combinations. The chances of you getting that perfect stone is phenomenally low. And when you have, for each reroll, considering each reroll, uh, and the reroll price is different at every level, for each reroll at the Soulstone 3 level, so let's say you went all the way up and then you decided to reroll at the Soulstone 3 level, each reroll is going to cost you 6 million gold and 5,184 pink dust, which is a very weird number when you think about it. That used to be 6,000. <laughs> anyway, 5184, super weird number. Uh, don't ask me how they got to it. They just did. <laughs> when you when you start working out, you're seeing people go through like videos like MKX Jump. Uh, so he's just done a video where he's tried to make his friend's account as powerful as possible. Just the amount of rerolls that he went through, the gold and the, and the pink dust, you're sort of left wondering, well, hang the fuck on. At some point, surely, surely someone's got to say, you've got to, you should lock attributes. Uh, and guys, this is just more of an advanced discussion. If you're a new player, just ignore what I'm going to say <laughs> for about a year until you save up enough <laughs> gems or soul stone to get to what I'm talking about. At some point, surely someone's got to say, well, surely locking attributes got to be start to be worth it, right? So locking attributes as we all know, is when you go from um, upgrade one soul stone to another and you want to keep the this soul stone as is, like attack, attack, right? You basically hit this button and instantly uh, for the same price, plus 4,000 gems, you have to spend gems to keep it locked, it'll upgrade to the next level. And so that cost obviously increases as you go through the different soul stones. So if you locked your soul stone all the way from Celestial 6 to soul stone 3, it's gonna cost you 12,500 gems. And that might intuitively seem like a lot. And don't get me wrong, 12,500 gems is a fuck ton. How many orbs is that? That's, if I do that divided by 450, all right? That's like 27 fucking orbs. <laughs> that is a lot of gems. But as crazy as that sounds, if you do out the math, so right now in, as, uh, in the shop, in, in the merchant shop in Idle Heroes, you can actually buy pink dust. Uh, and this is probably the best value you can get it for outside of the gem box event. Uh, this one where, and yes, I did buy this one because when I did a math, I realized I needed that and it's an only good value. Ignore that. That's the interesting thing about this gem box now is that this is the valuable thing. Uh, this is just, yeah, this is just a thousand, this is useless. But this, used, this this particular tier of gem box used to be completely useless because, well, everyone had this and this was junk <laughs> and this is what people were after. But the irony now it's completely flipped. This is now useless and this is the thing that everyone wants. You know, 20,000 pink dust, 4,000 gems uh, cost. The other place you can get it is actually the marketplace if you haven't already picked up on it. You can buy uh, pink dust here, which I've started buying. 10,000 for 1,500 gems. Hang on, is that better or worse than the... Ah, mother fuck. Just realized. Ooh, to get 20,000, I need 3,000. So that makes this mysterious chest. That means this costs 1,000. Yeah, all right, okay. So this is line ball with um, what you can get in the marketplace in terms of pink dust. Uh, I didn't really, I just did the math then. Yeah, fuck. 
Yeah, okay. So <laughs> logic stands, this isn't that great <laughs> a value. It is, it's okay. It's, 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 it's comparable with what you can get everywhere else in the game, but it's not kind of like this level kind of deal where this is the cheapest place where you will ever get scrolls. Uh, this is the cheapest place where you'll ever get profit orbs. This is fucking line ball now that I've done the math, right? If you if it's gonna cost you 10,000, what, 1,000 power of gems to get you 10,000 pink dust, it means it's gonna cost you 3,000 gems to get 20,000 pink dust, which means this thing here, Elite Hero Shire, costs 1,000 gems, which is probably as much as it's worth. Um, yes, you could argue, well, Milk still there's a chance to get Elite Hero, but like I've said many, many times before, it's phenomenally low chance. Anyway, I digress. The point of this video is, if you're not careful, you're going to squander away all your wealth very quickly without not getting much in return. The worst thing you can do is get to Soulstone 3, re-roll a fuck ton of times, and just be left with the worst stone for that hero in the world. Which is, which is why I haven't gone down that path. I've actually just... When I've been upgrading my heroes, I've actually started locking the attributes, as expensive as this sounds. And here's the math behind it, right? Here's the math behind it. So if you locked your hero's attributes from Celestial Stone 6 to Celestial Stone 3, it's going to cost you 12,500 gems. So how many re-rolls is that, theoretically speaking? So in the shop, you can buy 10,000 uh, pink dust for 1,000 pirate gems. So obviously, we've got to do 12,500 by 1,500. So that's the amount of... You can buy 8.3 10,000 dust packs from the marketplace, which is 83,000 dust. So 83,000 divided by 5,184 pink dust per reroll implies you can reroll up to 16 times. So if you think it's going to take you more than 16 attempts to get the perfect soul stone, you should just use gems to lock down your hero's attributes. Leaving aside that you're saving a fuck ton of gold. Um, that's probably 16 times six. That's like 96 million. That's about a hundred million gold that you're saving as well. I'm just ca counting pink dust. I'm just going to assume that you'll <laughs> you have billions of gold, but all of a sudden, when you do out the math like that, you go, well, hang on. Is 16 rerolls really that implausible? Am I really going to get the perfect stone, you know, in less rolls than that? If you fundamentally believe you are, then don't gem lock, right? Don't don't lock the attributes like I have. I personally don't think that's the case. I've wasted, I've, just based on my experience with Celestial Stone 6, I've blown through so many so much gold and pink dust in the past that I know for me personally, and because I'm a, I'm a whale, I'm a bit of a spender, it's worth locking the attributes. And that's why I've done it, right? That's why I haven't upgraded as many heroes as I have could have possibly upgraded. You know, I've got Ada to HP speed, which admittedly is not great. I'm trying to get her to HP HP. Um, I've got him to attack, attack, so on sticks, gem locked. I've gem locked all these upgrades or as many as I could. Uh, so I've blown through a fuck ton of gems. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. But I felt like that in order to get that early leg up in this game, I felt like it was important that I had to spend the gems to preserve the, the stones I already had there. Because I didn't... It was going to take me forever to get this much... Uh, well, 83,000 dust, uh, 6 million gold. I, I, I just don't think I'll ever... I'll just blow through a lot of this and never really end up with what I'm after. And so that's why I thought the, for me personally, the lock attributes was was worth it. It's not going to be for a lot of you because you are going to be free to play or, or dolphin spenders. This is more probably for heavy spenders or people who probably have like maybe 20,000 gems or 30,000 gems, right? You're a monthly pack buyer. And by the way, they've increased the number of gems you can get from monthly packs. These are for players that probably are a line ball about this. And so what I would advise is this, maybe for like your Ada or really a key hero that you know that's not gonna fall out of the meta. I would say if you haven't already upgraded the soul stone and got the one that you wanted, seriously consider just locking the attributes with gems and just doing it for one hero. You don't have to do it for every hero like I am. I'm just doing it for my key light dark heroes. I'm, I'm not gonna do it for Penny. I'm not gonna do it, I actually did it for Horus. No, it's a fucking filthy lie. <laughs> I'm going to do it for as many heroes as I can possibly afford to do it for. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's <laughs> because I, 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 I've done the fucked up thing. I, I'm, I'm trying to get stones for every hero. Uh, and that's not what you do. You're supposed to focus, especially when you don't spend as much as I do. 
Anyway, that's the video. Just a very quick point of uh, something for you to consider as you upgrade soul stones. Thanks for watching as always. Thanks guys.